Hi, from script to comic page, part one. This episode is an explanation of how comic artists take a script and turn it into com the comic books you see in print. The first thing I do when I receive a script is read it again and again to make sure I fully understood the story. Sometimes you might find a mistake in a script that the editor has missed it. And now is your opportunity to discuss any changes you might feel necessary with the editor. Often writers will describe too much happening in a single panel and you feel this needs splitting into two. Or if you're drawing an issue that carries on from a previous story, you might notice an inconsistency in the continuity. How much control you have to make changes depends on how well you get on with your editor. So be nice. The next thing I do is go through the script, picking out and highlighting sections I feel most relevant to me. I assign different colours to each character, as well as locations and objects like vehicles, etc. This makes checking details as I'm drawing much faster. In each story and script, you'll get characters you haven't drawn before. Even if they only appear in a single panel, you'll need to hash out the description and build up character sketches. The more times you draw these characters now, the more consistent their look in the final pages of the story. Any objects or locations also need to be sketched out. Sometimes you need to send these sketches to your editor to make sure they're happy with them or that they match up with previous artists drawings. Next I draw thumbnail pictures of each panel. These drawings probably don't look like anything to anybody except me. But these small sketches help me work out the page layouts and compositions. Then I do a quick sketch of each panel and I'll scan them into my computer. This allow me to compile them to their individual pages and work out the composition by reshaping and adjusting the panels so they fit nicely. Remember to leave space for speech bubbles on the first page of an issue, you have to leave extra space on the first panel for the story title and at the bottom of the page you will also need room for credits. Once you finish these roughs, your editor will almost certainly want to see these, so email them off as soon as you can and expect to ha have to make alterations. But until you hear back about how the businessman should hold his cigar in his left hand, not his right hand, etc, etc. You've got some time to relax. I hope episode one has helped explain some of the complexities of comic book illustration and has inspired you to draw the Marvel way.